Hi there, this is Naomi C speaking. For today's topic, we are going to recreate the video I previously posted in this channel about the five types of customers in customer service world. And the reason why I am creating this video is because if you're already in the nesting phase or if you're already taking in live calls, maybe in the production floor or if you're in a work at home setup, then you will definitely be able to encounter a conversation with a live customer and having said that you will be able to encounter these five types of customers i'll be giving in this video and so not just me giving you these types of customers i'll also give you their common attributes or their common behaviors and what are the ways and how to handle them the best possible way so you will be able to have a smooth conversation with him or her and be able to arrive at a very good resolution so if you're interested with that then let's begin so the first type of customer that you will typically encounter in the customer service world is the know it all customer so they're the customer who think that they're always right they most of the time interrupt you while you're talking and explaining the process about the, the company and the product or the services. Uh, they also give unsolicited advice. Even if you're not asking for it, they will tell that to you. And they most often refuse to admit mistakes. They always blame you, the company, the product or the service. And they like to show off their intelligence most of the time. So if ever that you encounter these type of customer, the best way to handle them is for you to acknowledge and commend them. Because not all customers get to do research before calling us. Most of them don't have an idea what is the package that they've got, what's their account number, and any you know simple information or basic information like that so these types of customers are really intelligent customers because they know everything about the policy but not everything because you know they're actually calling to seek help to ask an advice but most of the time they would say you're wrong that's incorrect that's not what they saw online or in the advertisement or what they hear from other people so the best way to handle them is of course you have to say wow thank you so much for taking your time to do research before calling us i appreciate you knowing the processes or the products that we offer the services that we give you because not all customers get to do that and then go straight with what the resolution is and then be professional in terms of talking to them right so yeah the next type of customer you'll be able to talk to is the in a hurry customer so they are the customers who are quite busy uh, age range for this are that around 30s to 50s because they got a job most of them will have a time to call us when they're inside their car on their way to the office when they're having dinner with their family and friends so they really sometimes grow frustrated when you cannot give them the immediate answer to their questions and they would hint you that they're in a rush and they need to get off the phone as quickly as possible so the best way to handle this type of customer is for you to be able to follow their pacing so if they speak fast you have to talk fast as well so if they want um, a straightforward answer then you have to answer them straightforward um, stop um, you know giving them different options anything like that just be straight just answer them directly they they will appreciate that and actually it's a good type of customer because uh, we can um save our average handling time with this okay because typically this is just short calls it will only last two to five minutes right so yes and also you have to be knowledgeable in terms of this because they need immediate answers so they don't really have that much time waiting on the line for minutes and minutes and 
you know while you are trying to look for an answer so you have to act as an expert when you're talking to this type of customer and yeah the picture says it all <laughs> and then number three type of customer is the tell all customers so they're the customers are quite friendly talkative perky <laughs> so most of the time they have uh, a lot of time like they're doing nothing they want to you know talk to you even if it already lasted 30 minutes to one hour so this is like the opposite of the other type of customer i previously mentioned because uh, this type of customer will really um let your ahd suffer because again uh, you will typically encounter this um, type of call as what we call long call and in order to handle this properly what you have to do is to give them verbal cues you can also reply a little bit in terms of what they're telling them uh, what they what they are telling you pardon about that i just woke up okay so yeah and so they would feel that they are here they're listened to and that you are not just ignoring what they're saying right but then you still have to go back immediately to what your initial conversation is all about or to what um what the topic is all about really all right so because if you wouldn't do that if you would say something about your life as well then the call or the conversation will go on and on and on and that the, the call wouldn't end at all <laughs> so yep the next type of customer you'll be talking to is the granny customer so granny customers i like talking to them because they're polite but sometimes they are also rude it depends on their personality it depends on their attitude really and it depends on the degree or level of frustration that they have towards the product the services or the company now in order to handle this properly you have to follow their pacing if they are talking slowly most of them talk slowly so you have to talk slowly as well you have to be clear in terms of speaking because they have problems most of the time hearing you they've got hearing aids so yeah you have to be clear in terms of your voice and also be nice to them be kind be friendly because these types of customers really has a lot of time also they take surveys most of the time and even if you don't resolve the problem if you are nice towards them they will still give you a very good rating all right so yep the next and the last type of customer you will be talking to are the irate customers so irate customers are the type of customers that according to them we typically encounter in customer service but it's not always the case because there are other customers who are not frustrated who are actually quite happy still perky lively friendly all of that kind of good stuff even if they have problems i think uh, it really depends on how they handle stress or how, how they handle pressure so yeah so in order to handle these types of customers i created a video on how to handle them the best way i'll put the link in the description box down below because i've discussed their um step by step really what are the things you have to do but basically all you have to do is to listen to them um let them vent out let them um pour out their emotions their feelings and then resolve their inquiries provide them um provide them ways and how to avoid that particular problem from happening in the future and they'll definitely appreciate that and so yep that's it i hope you've learned something on this video if yes i would like to say kindly visit our page and then like it and um, i post videos about that uh, about that videos in this uh, page and i also create um post um congratulating those who successfully passed the interview and if you're one of them then you could be and my page already and i i mean i could have 
I could have, I may be able to post that video already there. Oh my gosh, pardon about this, guys. Not all of you get to finish this video then, but yeah, that's fine. I'll share this with you guys. Like this if you liked it. Follow me in my social media account. Comment down below. Really appreciate that. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you again next time. Bye.